Jumbo fellow adventurers, Mike Dooley. Time for a Fry-Yay spiritual tune-up awesome question. How to keep confident when treated unfairly. And sometimes the person who treats us most unfairly is ourselves. So no matter who it is, uh, I've got four little bits of advice to help kick off your weekend in a grand style, total clarity, anchored in truth, because truth is the elixir of life, the soothing tonic that brings about joy, possibilities, and wild prosperity. All right, four things. One of the things that can hurt the most when someone else, in this case, um, treats us unfairly um, is the idea that perhaps others, the world, the universe, misunderstand you. The world, the universe, and other people know the truth. And when somebody comes off half-cocked and they're treating you unkindly, everyone knows. Even if they agree with that person, even if they're nodding with that person, even if they're standing behind that person like, yeah, that's what you deserve, they know the truth. They know you're doing your best. They know that you're a God particle here to thrive. And for whatever reason in their agenda and their confusion, they're wanting to take a little bit away from you because it's going to make them a little bit stronger. The first point I want to make is everybody knows the truth. Okay, so fear not that somebody's going to whitewash your brilliance and point you out as inferior or incomplete and fool other folks. Nobody's fooled. Everybody, your kids, your parents, your co-workers, your neighbors, knows the truth of your awesomeness and beauty. Number two, life is a journey. Focus on the journey, not circumstances. Circumstances are fleeting. Circumstances are often lies. Circumstances is the dance of illusions based on thoughts, dreams, and fears. So whatever shows up, while it has meaning, and we are all co-creators of what shows up, it is not reality. It is a snapshot, um, a selfie of your state of mind or the collective state of mind of what's being experienced. Focus on the journey. Focus on your purpose. Focus on your essence. Focus on where you're going, the end result. There's so many amazing things to focus on other than these circumstances that are so fleeting and in the scheme of things, utterly unimportant. The conversation, the bad mood, the grouchy boss, whoever it is, don't give it weight. Don't give it energy. And similar to this second point, you've got so much going on for you. You are hot, amazing, fun, and fantastic. Celebrate your awesomeness. Focus on who you really are. You see things that no one in the world has ever seen. You hear things and you feel things with your heart that are irreplaceable. You are why God wanted to be you because of this window on reality. So while you're focusing on the journey and your destination and the purpose and the beauty and your power, focus on who you already are. Oh my God, and where you've already been. Totally crazy, awesome and all you already have. There are folks who would give their front teeth and right arm to walk in your shoes for a week. And number four, this one, you know, I gotta, gotta play it both ways, gotta make you really think, gotta call you to a higher place. This one, hear, listen, feel. What showed up? Go to, the, go to a deeper level with it. When somebody says something and you heard it, there's meaning in that. Go to that meaning. Why did that show up? Why were they being critical? Why did they go and act unjustly and or unfairly? I am not saying they're right. But I am saying that you became aware of it, that it was in your realm, in your sphere, that you heard those words, you saw that behavior. That has meaning. Maybe, just maybe, 2% of the time, you can bring your game up. Thanks to that person who offered some criticism, which 
maybe seemed unfair, but held a valid perspective. Are you big enough to go there? I know you are. Don't just slough it off and don't, like yesterday's talk, don't um, just agree to keep the peace. But internalize what that person said. Maybe, maybe the 98% of the time when it was totally baloney, maybe you were witness or um, within earshot to help you believe in yourself more, to take that falsity, that baloney, that lie that they wanted to put on you to take your power away. You wanted to let that toughen your armor. You're not vulnerable. You can hear criticism. You can decide whether or not there's some way or somehow to grow from what you heard. Maybe because it's true, maybe because it's not true. And or maybe it was just kind of you putting yourself in the place to see if you've thickened your skin enough so that you can withstand um, immature souls who are trying to gain power by stealing it from you. That might be why you heard it. But if you heard it, as a note from the universe once said, there's never been anything uttered that you have been a participant to, a witness of, or an ear to, that didn't have meaning for the person who heard it. Again, that doesn't mean what you heard was true. It might be true. There might, but no matter what, there's something for you to learn. To love yourself more, to disregard those ding-dongs more, um, or to internalize and level up 2% of the time. All right. Happy Fry. Yay. May it be the best weekend of your life so far. Uh, please continue to ask your questions below on Facebook and or Instagram. Today, I put a link below for my podcast. Did you know I've got a podcast? We're doing true two drops a week between 30 minutes and an hour. That's where I replay these tune-ups as well as some specially featured interviews insights, presentations, check out my podcast, iTunes, Google Podcasts, it's totally free. Check the link below, it might be more convenient than watching these five or 10 minute tune-ups, okay? Taliho amigo, hasta pronto, hasta luego, te amo. And by the way, Lorraine and Nelson, Biggie, Sandy, Winnie, Richard, thank you so much for being there all the time and Animal Reiki Lady on Instagram. The terrible adventure. Terrible in a good way, right? All right. Happy Friday, brother, sister. And then Liliana. So glad you're here on Instagram. See you Monday. Tally ho.